Wow, a Wookiee long gun. I haven't seen one of those in a little while. Uh, how much you want for it? How about 500 credits? Sorry, that's a bit much. I don't think I can pay for that much. Oh man, one last piece and my droid will be complete. Oh, son, can you come here for a minute? Yeah, Dad, I'll be right there. Yeah, Dad, what do you need? I'm gonna need you to look through that scrap pile up there to see if there's anything worth anything, okay? But, Dad, this is gonna take all night. Now, son, I know it's hard being a junk dealer on Tatooine, but this is the only way that we get food on the table, so you're gonna have to put forth your best effort, okay? Okay, Dad. I'm tired of picking through all this trash. But, sir, I am not trash. What do you know? Well, my R2 unit be good at fixing droids? Yeah, I'll fix him. Let him fix that droid so my dad won't be mad. Yippee! <laughs> What's that thing that came out of Arnide? Hey, what's this button do? Oh, son, I'm gonna come see how you're doing. How do I turn this off? Yeah, Dad, what'd you want? I just want to let you know you could be dumb for tonight, son, and I love you. I don't want you to think I'm working it too hard, but it's the only way we can eat, and, well, that's just the way it is. Hey, is that a ship over there? Wow, it's flying over us. The shadow's so big I can barely see anything. I wonder who it is. Probably someone from the Empire. Don't be afraid, son. It's probably just someone from the Empire trying to tell us to leave or something. Don't worry, we'll make our own way out of this. Citizens of Tatooine, I'm here to propose a deal. I'm not from the Empire or some hideous droid that they dreamed up. I am merely a cyborg. My master, when I was a Sith warrior, he destroyed me, supposedly. Regardless, all I want is to make an empire as me with the ruler to take down that empire. Then we will rule. That's not a very good idea. That would just be making another empire after we overthrow this old one. It's like going back to square one. I mean... Who's with me? <laughs> yeah! You killed Slimey! That's not right. We should have a system of leaders and everything. You know, just by starting a new empire. You shall pay for that remark. I am trained in the lightsaber art, and I have learned how to bend the light from the lightsaber in different shapes that you can't even imagine. Aha! I knew you were a Jedi. I can sense it. My lightsaber is not only oddly shaped, but I can use parts of it to shoot at you as a beam of lightsaber. Targets off his eyes. And now you will have to get it. <laughs> Who did that? Ah, a child. You will learn not to play with the big boys. But son, don't do it! Son, don't do it! Come back! Oh, I have found the child's weak spot. Come to Papa. Whoa! No! 
you think you've chopped my arm off and I'm defenseless, but I will just squeeze his head off. No! And just so you know, before you guys start hitting me, you only knocked off my arm. They are magnetic and will come to me at will. Are you okay? I'm fine! Good. If you're going to be my Padawan, I need to at least know your name. I'm Jonet. I didn't sign up to be your Paddy Wand. It's Padawan. And I'm giving you an offer. You should take it. You have nothing left for you here. I guess I have nothing left for me here. My name is Master Rodcry. Let's go give your father a proper burial. After that, we probably need to get off this planet. The guy will probably be looking for us. I have a ship. Let's go. What? This is your ship? Probably both going to fit. Squeeze our cheeks, baby. Unless you have any better ideas. We need to go to more sides of the spaceport. Then, let's see if we can hitch another ride with some scum, villainy, you know, to get away, because he'll be looking. Who is that guy, anyway? Have you fought him before? Oh, well then, I probably fought him before, but probably in Clone Wars, and I can't tell with his new makeover. Aren't all the Jedi gone, anyway? There are only a handful left. Some survived Order 66. We need to find someone to give us a ride. How about that one over there? Okay, we'll go talk to him. Spongo, will you take us off this planet? I'll pay you 200 credits. What part of me looks like a smuggler? Basically the outfit, the giant ship. Fine, I'll take you guys along, climb aboard. Oh, servant. Could you come here for a minute? Yes, sir. Uh, what exactly is going on in here? Since you're part of my new army, I guess you don't know that all things I need sustainable for life are inside my head, and the body is just basically a add-on. I want you to find that boy with the lightsaber and the Jedi Master with him. He's in an unregistered ship, but it's blue, and you should recognize it because it's made of scrap parts. Yes, sir, I understand, and I see your body charging over there. What an amazing thing. Uh, I'll go do it. Get to it. Yes, sir. Ding. Oh, my body is done charging. Um, come to me. Why aren't there any chairs in this thing? Well, it's because that weighs down the ship. It goes way faster without any fancy interior. Besides, it's cheaper. If you want to, we can stop here at Alderaan Spaceport. I hear it's a great place. So peaceful and everything. What do you guys think? My princess, your mask has finally been built. Now come forth so we can rule the galaxy. We now have a sizable army. We can use them to take down the Empire. But I want you to take down those two people who don't like us. Of course, Master. I will do my best to take them down. But how should I do it? I will take my army to take down the Empire. While I'm doing that, I need you just to try your best to just slice them to bits. I will do my best to be a good little assassin for you. We finally made it to Alderaan It's Space so peaceful Park. here, I guess we're all out of trouble. There's no weapons or anything here. Oh, no way nobody I'm can not hurt us. assistant, and I'm here to kill you all. Well, if you're gonna defeat me, 
you're gonna have to catch me first. You know, now that I think about it and everything, maybe it would be cool just to have a little Padawan versus Padawan. So I'm gonna. Now what you're gonna do? You chopped up my arm. Now I'm choking you to death, and your master can't save you now. Yeah, but I can. No. Wow, you saved me. Why would you? I'm not just some mean old smuggler. I like to help people too. Besides, the fate of the galaxy was kind of at hand. There's no reason to thank me, Master. I just did my best. I guess we're free of them for now. At least her. Are you okay? I'm in a lot of pain because I lost my arm. It's a good thing my helmet absorbs energy or I'd be dead. This was a test to see if your training was complete. But obviously it's not. Luckily your mask absorbs energy or you'd be dead. I'm sorry for failing you, Master. But what will we do about my arm? We will get you a prosthetic one. Okay, but what about the Empire? What did you find out? I found out nothing. All I know was that there's rumors about them building a space station. I know nothing more. I've decided to take you guys wherever you want for free. I'm part of the evil fighting team now, I guess. Thank you. Now where should we go next? I'm tired of running. Why don't we just confront them? He has a point. Let's see if we can find anything. I heard, I heard the assistant say that his name was Darth Deleterius. Maybe we'll find out what that even means. You can understand her? I did that time. Anyway, let's go see if we can find anything about them, and then we'll go kick their butt. I'm going to take off that mask to see if the laser to your head hurts you. I don't know. Well, let's find out. Well, I guess everybody knows that you're a girl now, but it doesn't matter. You're still very powerful in the Force. Now let's take you to her lair to get you that arm. My new arm is so cool. I see that the surgery went well. Now that you're doing better, I will complete your training and we will rule the galaxy together.